Good morning guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we'll be checking out a new wireless speaker. It's been a long time since I reviewed any Bluetooth speakers and that's why we'll be checking out this new Bluetooth speaker on my desk. It's made by this brand called as Crossloop and came in this sort of packaging. Let me just grab my knife, take this out of cover and take the box out. There we go. So here it is guys, the cross loop bluetooth speaker and the model of the product is Volar. It's a bluetooth 4.2 premium rugged speaker on a budget and we also have a picture of the product on the box. Let's see what else is written on it. We've got the cross loop branding everywhere on the box and has some features mentioned over here. It's a high res audio product, the speaker is IPX4 rated water resistant, offers 12 hours of battery life and also has a built in microphone to answer calls. Going to the other side, we've got some details regarding the product. This speaker can produce a max output of around 5 watts. Well, that's it, that was our quick look at the box packing. Now let's unbox it and check out what do we have on the inside. So on opening the box, we've got some cables at the top. You get a micro USB cable for charging the speaker and a 3.5mm to 3.5mm audio cable. So these are all the items you got in the package. The cross loop speaker came packed like this and along with that you also get a user manual. Just make sure to read that for all the info on the product. Now let me finally show you the speaker. So here it is, the cross loop Volar rugged wireless speaker. It's Bluetooth V4.2 and we've got the cross loop branding at the top. This thing looks quite compact, just the size of my palm and weighs only around 213 grams. The build quality looks pretty good, it's got a soft rubberized matte finishing and comes only in one color which is the red and black color combination. It's got a compact and ergonomic design, has a single 5 watt speaker plus a passive bass radiator. So going to the top side, we've got the control panel which includes a microphone and 4 buttons beside that. There's a bluetooth button, volume up, volume down, a music play pause and a tiny status LED indicator. That's it, those are all the available buttons on it. There's nothing on the left and right sides. Going to the bottom side, we've got some info regarding the product and has a full rubber base to offer a good grip wherever you place it. And at the back side, we've got a rubber flap over here under which we've got some connectivity ports. Let me show you. There's a power button, a micro USB port for charging and lastly a 3.5mm aux port. So that was our complete look at the speaker. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly power it on and see if it's got some juice in it. Okay, looks like the battery is completely down. No problem, I'll just charge it and be right back to continue the video. Alright guys, I'm back. I fully charged the speaker and it's good to go. So let me just power it on and show you the pairing process. You need to press the power button for about 2-3 to three seconds to power it on and you can see this blue LED light over here. To enter in the pairing mode, all you need to do is just press the Bluetooth button over here and then the LED starts blinking. Now on your phone, turn on Bluetooth, go to settings and play with the speaker. That's it guys, we've successfully connected to it. Now let's play some songs and see how the speaker sounds like. The Volar speaker is producing good sound for the price. The mids are crisp and clear and I could clearly understand all the vocals with great clarity. The high frequency response was also nice. It was producing decent quality treble. And talking about the bass, the bass was nice and punchy all thanks to its passive bass radiator. I totally didn't expect it to produce some decent bass considering its small form factor. On the overall, the audio quality was pretty good for the price. The speaker was producing around 4-5 to 5 watts of output and is enough to enjoy music in a small room. The distortion was also minimum up to 90% volume level, beyond which you could feel some slight distortion in the audio. As I've told you earlier, the speaker also has a built-in microphone and the mic quality was decent during call conversations. I had no problem answering calls through it. Now let me tell you about the battery life. The battery life was very good on the speaker. It has a 1200mAh battery and on an average I was getting around 10 to 11 hours of music playtime at 80% volume level and it took around 2 to 2.5 hours for charging. Well, that was it for today. That was my review on this new Cross Loop Volar Bluetooth speaker. The build quality is nice, it's IPX4 rated water resistant, offers good audio quality and great battery life. The only thing I felt was the price is a bit on the expensive side. It costs around 1799 rupees. If only the price could have been a bit lower, it would have been awesome. Rest everything else was fine. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. 
So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.